And it's so funny when you get 10 people together and allow them all to do something differently, everybody learns from everybody else more yes. than I could ever teach anybody. Yes. And that, you know, very well said and very much what the spirit of this competition is and really the spirit of the whole Too Tall Toby community is, you know. Hey, what's up, everybody? Before we get into today's epic CAD vs. CAD battle, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. All month, we're going to be taking the challenges from the tournament, and we're going to be remixing them a little bit, maybe changing some dimensions, changing the material, and we're going to be adding them to the library over at TooTallToby.com. So if you want to challenge yourself to see if you could model these parts faster than our speed modelers from the tournament, this is your chance. Head over to TooTallToby.com, sign up for an account, and unlock Practice Models Premium. And we are going to continue remixing these tournament challenges and posting them in the Practice Models Library all month. So I hope you guys enjoy all those challenges. And of course, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about today's cat adverse cad battle all right guys well listen this is it and this is our first cad versus cad battle here featuring max and ase i hope you guys are ready i'm ready we've been building up to this all week i know that it was a little bit of a slow start today but now we are here and uh it was so awesome to learn more about these runners as we get into it max shake it off a little bit i'd say shake it off a little bit here we go this is going to be our first challenge and guys, in this first CAD vs. CAD battle, we're going to see Max, our number 11 seed, using Fusion from Denmark, going up against Atze, our number 9 seed, using SolidWorks from Macedonia. This CAD vs. CAD battle begins in 3, 2, 1, go! What is the mass of this part in XXX.X grams? The tolerance on this part is plus or minus 0.2 grams. And guys, this part is called a flagpole adapter. It's made from 1060 aluminum, which is 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. It's in millimeters. And this is a tier six model, guys. A tier six challenge to kick things off in our semifinals for the world championship of 3D CAD speed modeling. We got Max on the left using Fusion. We got Atze on the right using solid works phil what do you think about this model i think i'm glad it's not me as always i see it you know i fail to get a screenshot when i get my chance but then i have to mentally reference it this does look like one of those parts would be nice to cast it versus machining it that's for sure Yes, we got some draft, a little bit of draft angle going up on those uh, those side. I don't even know what you would call them, but the uh, the L shape that's kind of going out the side of this thing. And uh, this is going to be an interesting model for our runners. It'll be interesting to see what technique they use to build this thing. If they decide to build it using like extrusions or cuts or what they end up using for this. I like seeing Max there on the left. What's he doing? Some kind of layout work? Yeah, so it looks like he's actually doing like a half profile down the center. He's splitting it on two sides as if you would deal with the draft angle. Okay. Um, from there, you never know because, you know, one minute we blink and then boom, it's something else, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Well, I'd say on the right, looks like he's trying to draw first blood and indeed he has drawn first blood. So I'd say on the right comes in with that very first uh, set of geometry. Looks like he was able to come up with the kind of overall shape of this thing looking in from the side. It's interesting that they both, it looked like they both kind of started with the same geometry, but I'm not really sure uh, where they're going to go with it from here. It's very interesting approach approach from both of our runners yeah i'm i'm very curious to see what happens with ace on the right i mean he does have that j profile he's also got the solid formation i'm seeing things in SolidWorks that i always wish would have been inside of fusion at the end of the day mm. where we would have had to create additional sketches and do a few other things to get there but it's this is a challenging one tier six is pretty wild and i would i would almost challenge i thought about this when we were kicking this off I think next competition, we should have tandems, teams, teams of two. Mm. And you can only go once the first person is done. I think it would make this very interesting and not have the same CAD software. That would be very, very inter interesting to me. But I like yeah, where you're going with this. 
And it's, it's crazy to see. Yeah, it's really I'm really fascinated by Atze's approach on this thing. You know, I did I definitely would not have uh taken it that way. I, I was really not expecting to see him come through there with an extrude and then another extrude, and yet here we are. He's created that geometry and he's already got that draft running down through that webbing. So, you know, shows what I know. That's really impressive that he was able to use that workflow and come up with the desired results. Uh, meanwhile, we yeah. got Max on the left who's you know, it looks like he's still laying things out, but We've seen so many times with Fusion that all of a sudden we're going to see one, two, three, four features coming together. So now now I think we're going to see some magic coming from Max, and he's got that first feature already extruded. Oh, yeah. I think, I think what we saw on Max's side is definitely a lot more work to get everything positioned, and he's going to reuse a lot of that one sketch to make multiple bodies, mm. where Ricardo is kind of taking it, you know, one step at a time and completing out and moving on, completing out and moving on. Yep, yep. Or I I'd say, I'd say. Or I'd say, yeah. All the SolidWorks guys look the same to you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the three-letter name versus the three-letter name. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So, I wow. Love, I love these competitions because we, uh, we stress it the same on our side. We do what we call CAD for CAM, which is from napkin sketch to a part to be machined. And it's so funny when you get 10 people together and allow them all to do something differently, everybody learns from everybody else more yes. than I could ever teach anybody. Yes. And that, you know, very well said and, and very much what the spirit of this competition is and, and really the spirit of the whole Two Tall Toby community is, you know, just allowing people to learn from one another. And, and a lot of times the best lessons occur when you're looking at how somebody else is using a different CAD system because, you know, the instructors in your CAD system maybe never would have even learned to do it that way and so there's so much knowledge that gets that gets dropped off the table and uh now that we've got the ability to see people in different cad systems modeling the same parts it's just it's been so valuable it's helped me tremendously uh, in my workflows and uh i think maybe someday i'll do a live stream about all the different lessons i've learned from other cad systems that i'm now using in my cad system that, I, that would be interesting nonetheless, because again, is I think the CAD softwares have gotten so close together to be identical mm -hmm. that it's one of those things that just the way you think about approaching some of this stuff is I've always used the method of rectangles. Mm -hmm. Rectangles are your best friend, even to make round parts. And it's funny how that just changes the way people think. Yes. And I think we saw some of that from Max in his layout. I think we're going to see when he goes back to that layout, we're going to probably see some of those rectangles turning into round parts, but he better get his foot on the gas because Atze is really moving through this model quickly. And it is super impressive. There are a lot of dimensions on this drawing. And yet uh, Atze is just kind of going one feature at a time, looking at the drawing, finding the required dimensions and turning those into solid features. And wow. The problem is with a tier six model, a lot of dimensions means there's a lot of things you could get wrong. And so we'll we'll see uh, how Atze does in the end if he if he ended up mistyping anything or getting anything wrong or if he if he ends up nailing it. But look at Max on the left there, like we mentioned, taking that rectangle and turning it into a round feature. Wow. 100%. That's kind of what I thought he was going for there. Now, I mean, he's already pushed past the point of uh, he's had to create now a new sketch or a whole feature on one of the additional faces. But I think in the world of SolidWorks the same way, had you had an extra line there for the revolve, you could have went straight for the tube versus the solid, right? Right, exactly. And so it looks like we might end up seeing an answer coming answer in. in. So Atze comes in with an answer, 322.68 grams. And that is not correct, Atze. That is not correct. And so what, what Atze is going to need to do here now is he's going to need to uh, go through and look at the drawing. But wow, yeah, Contra says, wow, already six minutes and 44 seconds, and he's already got an answer. But unfortunately, that answer is not correct. So he's going to need to go through. He's going to need to look at his model. The challenge is that, you know, this is... Atze has already used up one of his answers. If he uses a second answer, he is blocked out. And so then it'll be up. It'll be kind of a, a Max's game to lose or Max's point to lose. So that becomes a little bit of a challenge in this thing. And and so, you know, certainly it looks like Atze maybe sees something that he, that he didn't like in the model. And now he's going to go through and try to fix that. But, uh, you know, we see in the chat, the chat is uh, urging him to uh, advance with caution. So that's pretty cool. I like I love that, that the chat <laughs> the chat knows, you know, that, that they've seen so many people in the past get burned by moving maybe 
just a little bit too fast. You know, it's great if you're fast, but if you're making models that are incorrect, then all you're really doing is making scrap. And so certainly we don't want that. Sebastian in the chat said, yep, speaking from experience. So advising, advising caution, speaking from experience. And uh, we see that Max on the left now is is uh, continuing to move through this thing and, and uh, trying to uh, figure out what, you know, what's going on with his model. And uh, on Anor Terser, we're gonna try not to uh, answer in the chat, please. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to make sure that it's just the runners that are answering in the chat, not anybody who's actually out there watching. None of the the audience. Okay, so this is this is definitely meant to be for our runners only. Okay, this and is kind of paused up. I don't know if he's gonna send anything in chat or not. Okay, and Atze comes in with his revised answer: three, two. 3.97 grams and that is not correct. Atse, I'm sorry, that is not correct. So Atse has now answered incorrectly twice. And so guys, what this means is that we bring out the clock of doom. So when one of our runners answers twice incorrectly, what it means is that now it's up to the other runner to get the correct answer. And unfortunately, I'd say that answer is not correct. And so that means that it's gonna be up to Max now. The pressure is on Max. It's not like he has to model the whole thing from the start in five minutes, but he only has five minutes to come up with the correct answer. And we're gonna let Max kind of try to get through this thing and see if he can't figure out the geometry from this part, from this tier six model. But that is the challenge, of course. We saw Atze going through. He recognized right away that he had something off. He had that hex that was off, and uh, he had needed to go through and repair that. But was there something else? That's the question. And that is the problem when you only get one incorrect answer. We see Atze in the background there now, kind of going through and trying to figure out. He's not going to let it go. He's like a dog on a scent. <laughs> He's not gonna let it's always great go. to see, you know, I, I love this competition. And at first I had to bite my tongue because I thought it was going to be <laughs> tier six because it only took six minutes to do. Oh, no, no, no. It is a complicated model. Many, many features. Look at that feature tree on Atze's machine. I'll try and scoot it over here a little bit so everybody can see it a little more cleanly. But that feature tree is, you know, massive. And that's that's what a tier six means. It means we got it takes a lot of features to complete this model for uh you know, an, an average user, a normal user, not a user who's trying to like minimize their features or anything. But I look, tell you what, is that something you teach on your side there, Toby, is we've always tried to push people to be taught when it deals with the timeline in Fusion down at the bottom of Max's screen is the first couple times you design something, you're gonna end up with 30 or 40 features down there. And your goal is to always try to aim for the least amount of features possible. Yeah, I think for me personally, like I don't mind having more features if it's going to make it easier for me to look at the the drawing, look at the model later and na navigate it. You know, I don't have that good of a memory. So if I look at a model six months from now, I'm not going to have any idea what's going on. So I'd like to have the different features so that I can kind of rename them in the tree and make it a little easier. And there's also times when it's beneficial for like um, configurations when you have, yep. you know, different fam family tables of parts. Uh, it's definitely, yeah, the, the right amount of features. You want to have just the right amount of features. That's a big B from AZ says in the chat. I agree with that. No, I, I would agree with you completely. When designing with a feature tree in mind, it definitely changes everything up, especially things like patterning features versus patterning sketches. It does make a big difference, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Grouping chamfers and fillets or not grouping them and all of that. So, wow, this is interesting. So two minutes left for Max, and Max is kind of looking through his model. He's trying to, to uh, double check that he's got all the appropriate dimensions, make sure that he's got all the appropriate, uh, make sure he's got all the appropriate dimensions, make sure he's got all the appropriate features. And Matav in the chat saying 250 people watching right now, Phil. This is fantastic. You're quite the draw for this live stream. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I mean, I blasted it out multiple places, so I don't know if they're yes. here for me or if it just showed up on their uh, watch now. Thank right? you. But guys, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. Don't forget to share it with other people as you're watching. And Max, you've got a minute and 30 seconds left. He has not yet answered incorrectly. And so he does have the ability to answer incorrectly and then answer correctly. But with only a minute and 20 seconds left, 
we're gonna see we're gonna see what he's gonna come up with here how he's gonna handle this final section of the model i'd say really got through that quickly um it had a full model and it looked like a nice fully defined model uh really moved fast but uh here we go the final minute of the clock of doom here and let's see what max comes up with we're watching the chat seeing what he comes up with 323 is not correct. 323.26 is not correct. Interestingly, it was the same answer that Atze came up with. So very interesting. That's one of your answers, Max. And so if you want to look at the drawing, look at your print, you probably have enough time to get one quick change in and get one more answer in. But with a model like this, with all those different dimensions, it's got to be tough to get through the entire model. And we might be looking at our first match being a push today. Phil, we made the models too complicated. Oh, I don't think so. Nah. I think I think it's obtainable. It's just the first one, right? They got to get the nerves out they got, of the way. Exactly. Exactly. It, they got to get the like nerves out of the way. Just like you and I live streaming. The first two or three minutes of live streaming is the worst because you got to get into that flow and that pattern. And Yep, exactly. All right, guys. That expires the clock of doom. And so, unfortunately, this one is going to be a push. But for all those of you who are in the audience, this is your chance to shine. If you modeled it up and you feel like you got it correct, feel free to type your answer in the chat. And Max came in with an answer. It was a little bit too late for the clock, uh, but unfortunately, it was also slightly out of spec. Three, th um, You see Max came in with his answer, 314.68, uh, much closer Definitely much closer, but uh, not within spec. And the correct answer, Rambros Workshop, another Fusion user, uh, 313.6 is correct within tolerance. Uh, I got my answer was 313.6 actually on the nose. Uh, and I tested that in a couple different CAD systems. So GG to Ram Rambros Workshop. Uh, even though he's uh, he's he's uh, not in the tournament right now, he is currently the world champion of 3D CAD speed modeling. And Rambros Workshop did get that correct. The correct answer was 313.6. And Honor Terser, also 313.4, was within specification. Uh, it's a plus or minus 0 0.02 gram. So well done, my friend. Dom Linder, 313.6. That is correct. Uncle Fab, 420. That is also correct. Interestingly, that is also correct. Somehow within tolerance. Uh, and last steep, 324. Nope, not within spec. Guys, nice, nice job. Rambo's workshop continues to assert his fusion dominance. 313.6 was the correct answer for that one. And guys, we got ourselves a push for the very first match. It happens. It happens sometimes. If you're here for the first time, just know that it happens sometimes. And uh, nice job to our runners. Congratulations. Not an easy part.